What do those treatments do in terms of nutritional needs for the body? Uh, chem we talk about how damaging some of those treatments can be. Do they deplete certain nutrients? Do they, do they make the body you know, lower? In some? Sure. Um, we, see, we see a lot of mineral insufficiencies. So for example, magnesium and zinc are primary, uh, primarily depleted, but you see the whole, the whole spectrum. In fact, a lot of the fat soluble nutrients tend to go down. So we see vitamin A, vitamin D, E and K all being necessary oftentimes to replete and kind of build up those reserves. Um, and then B vitamins, we run through, everybody runs through those on a, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And so there's some chemotherapeutics that actually use, especially those what we call the methyl donors, things like B12, folic acid, um, they go through those really fast. B6 is another one that gets used quite frequently with a lot of them. Uh, methotrexate is one of those in particular that uh, um, is, is interesting, um, that it uses those methyl donors pretty frequently. How important is it for somebody uh, to not try to supplement that on their own and have you know, a doctor advise them when they're going through these treatments just so they're doing it the right way? I'm really glad you asked that question. Um, you don't want to be your own doctor when it comes to cancer. Um, some of the best things, that, some of the things that we know are helpful in many cases, like things like melatonin, um, curcumin, green tea, they're very, very helpful for a lot of different cancers. But they can also be um, deleterious for some of the, the chemotherapies. Mm -hmm. So it's not always, it's not always, we can't always use them together. So the, mm -hmm. As a group, those are antioxidants, and uh, the therapies are pro-oxidant. Well, do we diminish the quality of the therapy? Sometimes the answer is yes. There are certain cancers, uh, excuse me, certain chemotherapies that explicitly say do not use with, and green tea is one example. Mm -hmm.